Well, 815, an upstate organization is working to help families in need. That's right. Second Harvest of Metrolina is preparing to host a distribution event this week. Now, Fox Carolina's Justin Dorsey is live from the Second Harvest office in Williamston with those details. Justin. Yeah, we moved over here to Williamston. We want to get a chance to talk to some of the organizers to, to learn about what it really means to give back and exactly some of the contents that are going to be inside these boxes tomorrow. So here with me this morning, I have Donald Dickens. He's going to tell us a little bit about the healthy food options that we see in front of us. Donald, good morning. Absolutely. Good morning. Uh, what we're doing tomorrow is we're giving out basically what we see here on the table. We've got fresh produce items. We have some frozen meat. Uh, we also have some shelf-stable box items we'll give in a box. Uh, what we see here exactly what you see on the produce and the meat uh, little variance in the dry goods but it will be pretty much the same content and every family that's represented will get what you see here and like we said this morning um, it'll be a standard drive-through style format national guard will assist um, put them in your car you don't need to get out nothing to sign just loads you up and you're on your way. And Donald, one thing I was talking about, you know, off camera is this looks like some good healthy food, healthy options. It's not just, you know, standard things. It's, it's good food for a family. Absolutely. Uh, what we have done with, at Second Harvest, last year alone we did over 70 million pounds of food distributed. Um, and a good portion of that, probably close to 55,000 pounds of that, was fresh produce, meat, um, milk options, dairy options. We're trying to really emphasize that. Um, since the, the pandemic in March, we've actually distributed 20 million pounds more um, product than we did the same time last year. So we've actually been able to push out a lot more fresh items of produce, milk, dairy, meat. Um, so we're trying to give back. We've been blessed to have an additional surplus of food, so we're just passing that on to families in need. Nice. All right. So it's at that old Bilo location in Abbeville. You don't want to forget that. Uh, what's that address for us real quick before we get out of here? I do not have the I'll put you on the spot there. It's on Greenwood Street. I think it's 809, maybe on Greenwood Street. 809 at Greenwood Street. It's the old Buy location in Abbeville. We're going to get that address for you in the next half hour. We're also going to go to the other side where the Army National Guard is uh, fixing some things up. Yeah, it's amazing just hearing the amount of food that they've been able to provide to families in need and, and the increase of that need during the pandemic just shows how important this is. It really does, Justin. Thanks for highlighting this. We'll check back with you in a little while.